so today I'm here in Pasig and guess what? I am going to find out more about hydroponics and aquaponics. You see, I'm not very much of a green thumb, although my mom and my dad were farmers. Um, I kind of lack the soil where I live, so I want to find out how I can actually grow produce without having to have soil or a lot of land. Kaya, nandito po ako kay Victor Navacero, and he's going to be teaching me today. Come join us. about what it is to be could you just call yourself a hydroponics guy or uh, just a hobbyist a hobbyist yeah. pero a hobbyist who's taught a lot of people already yeah, just sharing the, the art the of this of hydroponics hi i'm victor navacero i'm an electronics and communication engineer and my main profession is web design and uh, electronics now Hydroponics and aquaponics is my hobby. So it started three years ago when I got interested in the science of it. Now, uh, I learned that hydroponics, you can just grow soillessly, meaning you don't need soil. So you're just feeding the roots of the plants with fertilizer or nutrients. So the interest started when I was watching YouTube videos uh, reading, uh, googling all the information in the internet. So that started my hobby. So Victor, I guess the reason why I'm here is because curious ako. Like a lot of people, they're curious about how to do aqua and hydroponics. Um, when I was in Canada, Meron akong doctor friend who had uh, a, a big garden, tapos nag-set up siya ng malaking um, aqua and hydroponics uh, setup. But then, even though I'm interested, hindi ko naman pwede gawin kasi at that time, wala pang nakakaalam na how to do it inside the house. Indoor, okay. So, this is what really brought back my interest. Mm -hmm. Kasi, ay, pwede pala maglagay ng, ano yung, ano yung tawag dun sa model, sa unit, what do you call that? It's a hydrophonic system. A system, okay. Which is, you can do indoor using grow lights. Okay. So, is that something, like, very new, like, uh, less than 10 years ago, or dati na yon? Dati na. Okay. Ha. It's an old, old technology wherein in the Philippines is just kind of new because okay. the products, uh, the materials or the equipment is kind of expensive. Okay. Kaya not all of us can do the indoor grow okay. because the grow lights are expensive. Okay. So basically there are two uh, systems, one that you can do indoor and one you can do outdoor? Yeah. Okay. So for me, I would be curious to find out how we can do it indoor because I'm living in a condo and I love to eat fresh greens. Mm. Pero, um, baka naman high maintenance din yung going indoor because a lot of the time, uh, some some of the people are not at home. Sometimes, ikaw kasi you have your business at home kaya you can, yep. you can watch out over your system. What if, katulad ko or katulad ng ibang viewers natin they cannot watch over it 
at days at a time, mm -hmm. is it still possible to let the system continue running by itself? Yeah. How often do you need to feed it? Feed it by No, you just have to set it up for one time. Okay. Wait for harvest time. Okay. That's it. Wow. So So if you're doing leafy grow, it would take you around four weeks. Four weeks. So what you're doing outside you can do inside. You're just using grow lights inside, you're just using sunlight outside. So you're just replacing your sun inside with lamp, with bulbs. Okay. Pero ito yung mahal. The bulbs yeah, yeah. are the ones the that are expensive. expensive. Okay. So depending on how big your system is, dun yeah. mo, dun natin malalaman yung yep. presyo. Uh Oo. -oh. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me what the system is comprised of? Okay. The basic system for hydroponics is just a container where you put your water with the nutrient. Siyempre, that's the food of the plant. Now, your seed will need a media to hold on. Like your roots will grow, your plants will grow. So it will grow on a pot like without soil. So yun yun dun siya tutubo. Now when it grows, it will feed on the water with the nutrient. So your container is here, small media with a big container of the water. Yung roots will grow down, will feed on the nutrient. You know, that's the basic system. Okay, so what is basically the difference between the hydro and the aqua? Oh, okay. Aqua is also hydro. Okay. It's a family of the hydroponic system. But in aquaponics, instead of using nutrient water, you're using fish poo poo. Ah. So now the science comes in again. The fish poo poo is ammonia. Uh -huh. Ammonia, you have to generate or build a bacteria that will convert that ammonia to nitrite. Now, there's another bacteria that will be mutated from that bacteria to convert that nitrite to nitrates. So, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, which is now the plant Fish food. food. Yeah, the no, plant food. The plant food for that. Okay. Then, the plant will convert that nitrates to oxygen back to the fish. So, it's a nitro, they call it the nitrogen cycle. Okay. Yon. So, that's aquaponics. Pwede kang magkaroon ng mini aquarium yep. with your hydroponic setup if ever you wanted to do aquaponics. Oh, indoor. Cool. Now, indoor, ganun lang. You're doing, instead of hydroponics, you're doing the fish, uh, fish poo poo. Okay. Now, instead of putting the mixing of the nutrient hydroponics, si fish ngayon ang nagbibigay sa'yo ng food for the plant. In hydroponics, you only buy Actually, you're just doing the ano eh, mga recycled containers, pwede na eh. Okay. You, you use a container, yung ice cream containers, okay. and then you just drill a hole on top and put the net pot or the media for the seed, okay. and then pour your nutrient, pwede na yun. So this is the hydroponic nutrient solution. Mm -hmm. That's your container. So depende, you have small, you have big, depende on the system you're doing. When you say large, it will be on, on a greenhouse, in a greenhouse na, yung malaki na. So you're just doing your, your leaf, I, this is your, your plant. It's just feeding on, on the nutrient. Yes. Lang siya. No soil. Okay. You can just start with this container, or I usually do it directly from the, it, it in media. This is now the, the, the modern media, hindi na soil. What is so that it's a sponge. It's a, it's a sponge. It's it's not kitchen sponge. It's horticulture sponge. Horti foam. Okay. They call it horti foam. Is that the one that the florists used to put in? Mm, the, that's the green one, di ba? Uh -oh. oh, the. This one is ano lang, sponge lang siya. Yeah. It's a sponge. It's reusable kasi. But something's growing in there. Oh, yeah, na. Okay. I germinated na one one seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's germination. The the purpose is. Just to crack the pod lang naman eh, for germination. As long as maputok mo na yung seed pod niya, mm -hmm. that's germination na, tapos na. Then you do day one growing na siya. So, the nutrients na dito. And then this one. And then for bigger pots, you add, add more media mo na. Iba-iba yung media mo. So, you do it like this one. And then you add more. This one is hydroton. Hydroton. So they are water retentive. So if you have water, mag mag wick sila ng water. So kung nila yung water sa baba, they will bring it up. 
and then give moisture to the to the seed to the plants that we have. So kung may water dyan, hangat yung water niyan, may moisture. So the roots will grow, bring it down, and feed on that nutrient. Ano lang siya. The nutrient mo, this one, this is your container, nutrient container, this is your media holder, the net pot, for this one, and this is your germination media, the sponge, or this one is your grow media for bigger space, to, for bigger containers. I learned a lot about hydroponics and aquaponics dito sa vlog na to. Most especially that it's not as expensive or as difficult to set up as I thought it would be. In fact, I estimated ko yung isang wall ko sa bahay and uh, the cost to set up the pods and the lights uh, is around 40,000. So kasama na rin yung nutrients doon. Hindi lang po natuloy yung project na yun because we've decided to move into a new home before the end of the year. So doon na lang po kami maglalagay ng hydroponics sa bago namin bahay. For more information about hydro and aquaponics, you can call Victor or contact Victor Navasero on his Facebook. So enjoy your hydroponics. Hi guys! Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification button so you can get the latest videos of mine.